Hello and welcome back to another video on Inkscape. In the last video I took a look at Inkscape 1.2's new multi-page tool. If you want to see that video then click on the link in the top right hand corner and you can go back and watch that. In this video I'm going to be looking at guides and how we can add guides to our multi-page documents to make creating book interiors a whole lot easier. Stick with us. So the first thing we're going to need to do when creating the interior of a book is to set the page size. So I'm going to make my pages uh, 9 by 12 inches. So I'm going to come down to my multi-page tool down the bottom here, click on that. And at the top, we can just put in here 9 times 12 inches. And that will set our page size. But one thing I do want to do is just change our display units to inches to match um, what we're doing. So I'm going to come up to our document properties, this button on the right hand side. I'm going to click on that. In the display section, I'm going to change display units to inches. And we can close that down. So now we've got our page size right. We've got um, our units right. We can start creating our pages. For this example, I'm just going to use four pages. So I'm going to come up and I'm going to add another three pages. So one, two, three. We can move that over. To set out our guidelines, I'm going to use tiled clones. So the first thing I want to do is create a shape that's the same size as our page, plus the gap in between. So to do this, I just need to come up and set up my snapping. So if we click on this little arrow, it'll open up our snappings dialog box. So in here, we just need to check that we've got all the relevant um, snapping options that we need enabled. So in the bounding boxes, we want corners, midpoints, edges is enabled as well, so we'll leave that. In the nodes, we need nodes enabled, and we want to snap cusp nodes, which are the corner nodes. And we also need to make sure guidelines and page borders are enabled. So now we've got everything set up in our snapping. We can come out of that. I'm going to grab the rectangle tool. I'm going to snap to this top corner. And I'm just going to drag out a rectangle that's the same size as our page plus the gap in between. So now we've got our object to the right size. I want it to sit evenly over our page. So if we get our selection tool, I'm just going to drag this till it snaps to the midpoint like so. So now we know we've got a set distance on either side of our page. So we can now come up to edit down to clone and create tiled clones. So in here, symmetry is currently set to P1, simple translation. We want to reflect our pages because we're our pages aren't going to be exactly the same. Um, we're going to need a gutter margin, which is a slightly wider margin on the inside of our pages. So that's going to alternate from page to page. So we're going to change P1 to PM reflection. So we click on that one. So that's our symmetry set up. I've got one row because we've only got one row of pages and I've got four because I've got four pages set up. We also want to untick this use save size and position of tiles. So we untick that. Now we can create and it should create a tile for each of our pages so it spans each page evenly and that looks perfect. So now we've done that and we know that our tile clones are in the right position. I'm going to come back down. I'm going to turn on the use save size and position of tiles. I'm then going to remove our tiled clones. We just move that over to the side a little bit. So the next step is to mark out where the safe area in our page is. So to do this, I'm going to create guidelines from our page. So I'm going to come up to edit. I'm going to come down to uh, create guides around the page. And that adds in guidelines around our page. So now we've got these guidelines, I want to move them in. So they mark out the safe area of this page. So because this is the first page, the gutter margin is going to be on the left hand side. So if we hover over our guide until we get the little hand uh, icon show up, we can double click. And in here, we just want to move it in the X direction by 0.375 inches. And that moves our guide in. The other three, 
we need to move in by 0.25. So the one on the right hand side we want to move in by minus 0.25 and the one on the bottom we want to move by minus 0.25. So now our guidelines are in the right place we can resize our rectangle. So I'm just going to take this I'm just going to drag it down till it snaps to the intersection of our guides and I'll do the same with this one. Just going to drag it up to it snaps to the intersection of our guides. Now this represents the safe zone of this page. So what we need to do now is replicate this onto our other three pages. So to do this, we're going to come back to our tiled clones. We've got our size and position already set. We've got our rows set. We've got reflection set. So we can just press create. And hey presto, we've got our safe zones marked out by our rectangles. So the next thing I want to do is select all of these objects. Because these are the only objects in my project at the moment, I can come up to this top button, select all objects or all nodes. So we click on that. That's selected all four of my rectangles. I can then come up to Object, down to Object Guides, and that converts them all into guidelines. So the last thing I want to do here is just lock all these so they can't be moved. So I'm just going to up this little lock icon in the corner, Click on that. So now all the origins on our guidelines have turned to crosses, which indicates that we can no longer grab them or move them. So they're now safe. So now I've got the number of pages set up and I've got all my guidelines set in place. We could save this as a template. So to do that, we can come up to File, down to Save Template. So now we just need to name it. So we could call it 9 times 12 inch, no bleed, 4 page and we can save it. Then next time we want to create a document, we can just come up to File, down to New from Template, and in here we've got our 9 by 12 inch, no bleed, 4 page, and we can just double click on that to create a new document. And there we have a new document set up with the right number of pages, guidelines to show where the safe zones are, and everything is good to go to create another document. Hope you found that useful. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.